Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction, folks. And of course, you're on our website right now. You can hit that Direction banner, go over to the Direction website and take a look at their featured funds, their ETFs. Um, bottom line, they have a lot of different vehicles, folks, that you can protect yourself uh, in this market. Dave Mazda, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, thanks for having me back. Pleasure to be here. Hey, let me ask you, man. I, I see that, you know, <laughs> I, I love how busy you are, Dave. I mean, you just don't stop, meaning, you know, moving, you know, and making sure that people, you know, whether you're a bull or a bear, you know, have something that they can help, you know, to me, you know, basically help their portfolios. Let's talk a little bit about, because we know we're in inflation, and I know you get a couple new ETFs here, the TIPD and the TIPL. Um, you know, talk to me. This is like uh, trading the, the tips market, whether you're bullish or bearish, right? Yeah, no, um, that, exactly right. So tip L and tip D. Tip L is a 2x daily bull fund. Tip D is a 2x daily bear fund. And what these uh, uh, funds are intended to do, like our other leveraged inverse ETFs, is provide amplified exposure, both uh, for, to express a bullish view and a bearish view. But what's interesting is, I think as many people know, historically, tips were not considered a volatile asset class, nor were treasuries. Right. But what's going on with interest rates and what's going on with the inflation numbers that we're seeing, that's all changed. Uh, we know fixed income uh, has underperformed sharply this year. So if someone's either looking at trade, uh, inflation numbers, trade what's happening with, uh, uh, with real yields, um, tip L and tip D can serve those products for them. Nice, which is really, and folks, it's really easy to take a look at those products. Just hit the banner on TFNN, bring you right over there. Now, let's talk about a little gold here because, you know, uh, bottom line, you know, what happens in the gold market, folks, of course, you know, it's been getting smoked, <laughs> no doubt about that. And in the gold market, you know, Direction has uh, basically nugget and has dust. Well, dust has been doing very good. There's no two ways about that, man. Now, um, and you know what I was reading, Dave, and, and I guess it probably happened with the, the, the bull fund uh, also, is that, you know, last week, uh, the GDX, I mean, the amount of money that came out of that was phenomenal. So, um, you know, bottom line, folks, okay, we, you know, the gold market today, we hit, we were looking for that uh, 1788, it hit 1785, or rejected it. Um, you know, so when we're looking at that market, Dave, um, you know, the inflows and outflows, do you see inflows and outflows that quick? Meaning that, it, you know, we got it moving today, okay? But um, like the GDX is saying that they had so many outflows last week, it was pretty amazing actually, you know, and of course it was going down. Yeah, so, uh, you know, one of the areas that we tend to look at um, uh, for somewhat of a read on sentiment is both the trading volume, so really increases and decreases uh, in trading volume of uh, our ETFs, especially because they're really intended to be trading tools. And then whether that, that feeds through to actual inflows. And what's interesting, uh, but also paying attention to your point, to, to the one beta ETF or kind of the whole ecosystem. Yes. Many yeah. folks were, were looking at inflation this year, assuming the price of gold uh, would perform much better than it has. Then uh, in turn, gold mining stocks, which have a high beta to the price of gold, although they're, of course, sometimes uh, uh, you have to remind ourselves they are still stocks. Yes. Uh, but they, they do trade a little bit differently than other groups of stocks because be, uh, because their connectivity to the price of gold has, you know, have not performed up to expectations. So we're tending, we're seeing a really, a real increase in activity on our bear funds. Um, so, so that's in particular dust um, uh, and, and then, and then uh, J dust to provide to, to be that hedging tool or to take actually uh, a negative view on gold mining stocks uh, because those you know those offer amplified exposure uh, but the inverse uh, of uh, of what GDX is index and GDX is J's index is doing on a daily basis. Right. Like if we look at dust, folks, you know, dust in the last you know three weeks, you know, gone from the ten dollar level. And basically, last Wednesday, we hit 1893. The cool thing about, you know, the ETF structures that you have 
is that you can move with them. That's the bottom line. I, I know how many people love shot and gold, you know, and they've, they've done very well until they don't, <laughs> like like anything else, I guess, you know. But this this has been uh, quite a, now let's talk about the SPI, uh, you know, SPX, yes, a, a bit, okay? Because that, no doubt, coming down in the marketplace, um, you know, you get a lot of people that have protected themselves on the way down. So it's gonna be really intriguing, you know, going out in the future to see, okay, you know, where's the S&P really wanna go? Yeah, and look, I think, you know, uh, some, we have some folks coming out, you know, uh, calling for a bottom, some folks, you know, saying that it, it's time to take a more risk on tone. Um, you know, I think it just purely by the technicals, uh, that's not necessarily clear to me, uh, but that's, you know, that's, uh, uh, yeah, it's not, not clear my, to any of us for sure. Opinion, <laughs> right, exactly. So, but what, what I, what I can tell you, at least from what we're seeing is, um, for heading into this year, the ratio of bull assets to bear assets. Right. So that is, you know, uh, basically w was never higher in the history of the direction family. Wow. Meaning historically, um, you would see, you know, uh, you know, not not always 50-50, you know, but closer. It, got, it did totally change. We're seeing that in the last week come back big time. So big interest in the bear funds as people are looking for to protect themselves in this market. That's great information. Isn't that cool how the markets move, Dave? I mean, it's amazing. And, you know, through these cycles, folks, the bottom line, pay attention because, you know, once you see a cycle, the next cycle is a little bit easier. Dave, thank you so much. Have a great one, safe one. We look forward to seeing you two weeks from today. Talk soon. Thank you. Thank you.